Hello, today's the 21st of April, and I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling, along with some, some of my insights. The scriptures that go with this devotion are Genesis 1, 26 and 27, uh, which is awesome. It's about the creation and us being made in the image of God. And Romans 8, 6, which tells us that to, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So keep that in mind as I share these words with you. Let me control your mind. The mind is the most restless, unruly part of mankind. Long after you have learned the discipline of holding your tongue, your thoughts defy your will and set themselves up against me. Man is the pinnacle of my creation, and the human mind is wondrously complex. I risked all by granting you freedom to think for yourself. This is a godlike privilege, forever setting you apart from animals and robots. I made you in my own image, precariously close to deity. Though my blood has fully redeemed you, your mind is the last bastion of rebellion. Open yourself to my radiant presence, letting my light permeate your thinking. When my spirit is controlling your mind, you are filled with life and peace. <clears throat> that's, that's very true. Scriptures say, as a man thinketh, so is he. And there's actually a book by a guy named James Allen. It's, it's actually more of an essay in book format um, called As a Man Thinketh. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful uh, insight on, on the mind. So, what does it mean to be spiritually minded? Well, I would say that that, that that means that you focus your energy and your mind and your thoughts on spiritual things. We're all human. We're all going to, our, our minds are all going to wander. We're not going to have control of it because, well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the way that we are right now. We are granted with agency, which gives us choice. We can choose what to focus our attention on. So let's just say a thought comes into our mind and it's about baseball. We can choose to dwell on that thought or we could choose to switch gears. Think about something else. The pure love of Christ is charity. And when we think of serving our neighbor and serving the Lord, um, that's how, how we can maintain a, a spiritual mindset, an eternal perspective. And where thinking about baseball, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, it's okay to have pleasure. Um, but I would, I would challenge you to make sure that along with the pleasurable thoughts that you allow your mind to dwell on, that you think on things that are spiritual. Be still in the presence of the Lord. Prayer doesn't always have to be you talking. It can be you listening. As a matter of fact, it should be because prayer is communication. We make the choice to communicate with our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we listen, the Holy Ghost fills us with answers and impressions and feelings and witnesses. I testify to you that Jesus is the Christ and that as you strive to learn more of him through reading his words, through reading the Holy Scriptures, that you will become more spiritually minded. I testify that if you develop the habit of prayer and scripture study daily in your life that you will have peace that surpasses all understanding. I love you and I know that Christ loves you and that your Heavenly Father loves you. May the Holy Ghost bear witness of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.